and another day we are done I got a couple things that I have to do but before that I gotta meet up with a friend a good friend of mine his name is taboo some of you know him as that I know him as Fernando good friend but he's got some words of wisdom that I just feel like you guys should hear you know why because it's Wednesday <laughs> Guy. I found him. Boom! Okay. Okay, so it is Wednesday. And this Wednesday's word is with a good friend of mine. His name is Fernando Campos. Or is it Fernando? I don't know. I like to use the accent. Fernando Campos. Good friend of mine. One of my best friends. Super smart. He's kind of like the person that got me into this whole mess of like thinking about life. Because I can't stop thinking. But anyway, he's got some words to share with you about why it's important to seek therapy. But also to redefine this whole thing about what therapy is. So here he is. Wait, hold on. Let me get him. There he is. Okay, you are oh. way too close. <laughs> okay, wait, let me make space. Fernando Campos. Hi. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? This is my broski. Okay, so, all right, so what I wanted to talk to, this is bothering me. Okay, is that better? Hold on, don't move. Okay, so what I wanted to talk to everyone about is kind of like to redefine therapy. Because when you hear the word therapy, most people have like a negative understanding of it. Like they think like if I have to seek therapy, then I'm crazy. But I feel like you have a really good explanation for this topic. Yeah, um, it's pretty interesting. I think uh, we all have our lives. We all go through things. Uh, regardless of whether you're having a good day or a bad day, it's always good to have someone uh, to talk to about it who's completely you know, focused on you and like the benefits, the things that are better for you, you could say, right? So I think therapy allows us uh, the opportunity to kind of like reflect on ourselves with someone who's not necessarily that close because if I'm talking to like let's say my girlfriend and I'm like do I listen enough of course you can be like no you need to listen more like there's always these like other a bias things. yeah there's bias so whether we're talking to friends family you know how many of us go and we do this throughout our entire lives yeah. we are constantly seeking therapy because we're people who need interaction the only problem is or the only thing I should say it's not really a problem but the only issue is we tend to go to just friends, family, um, co-workers. People that we know and we're comfortable with. Yeah, so, I mean, it's important because we establish the comfort. A lot of it has to do with how comfortable we are with people. But we're also going to people who are going through their own problems, they're going through their own things, and mm -hmm. so they're not necessarily totally focused on you. you. We don't know if maybe they just came out of a bad relationship, and so they're gonna tell you, you should leave that person because this, you know? <laughs> and we don't know if they're about to like, go into a, a bad relationship themselves and maybe like, you know, you should give him another chance, you know, because you can change them. Whatever the case may be, I think we're creatures that need therapy. We need to have that conversation. Got it. So the best approach is to find people who are studied in this, who have researched this, who have um, trained for this. Trained for this, exactly. I wouldn't go to you to be like, hey, like, is my wisdom teeth in the back? Does it have a cavity? Like, if you've never studied dentistry then i wouldn't just open my mouth to you but the thing is we're opening our mouths to everybody but we're talking about our personal lives Ooh, hashtag Damn. deep you talk a lot about like preventative care and therapy right yes. now explain a little bit about that like how is that beneficial and how do people even like wrap their mind around that all right so the easiest analogy is going back to dentistry my dad's a dentist and i always try to use topics that i can relate with and everything if your teeth are really important to you then it's important that you brush and you floss, right? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean, you know, you're not gonna get a cavity, things happen, you might get cavities, but if you're just waiting for a tooth to fall out to get help, it's probably not gonna be as uh, easy as if you were just brushing your teeth and checking up with your doctor regularly. Got right? it. So, uh, I think the field of therapy or going to see a therapist isn't always about, and this is where people get it wrong, is they always think it's like, I have to be broken wanting to jump off a building. I have to ha I have to get to that point before I'm gonna seek professional help um, and guidance. When the truth is, I think the best times to go to therapy are when things are going great. That's a perfect time to go to therapy because you get to talk to someone 
who really wants to get to know you and help you kind of map that out. It's kind of like the beginning of the quest, so yeah. to speak. Yeah. Versus, you know, oh, my teeth are falling out. Now I should go see the dentist. Got it. So like you take care of it before it gets worse or you take care of it before it gets to a point where it's harder to deal with. Yeah, because it doesn't have to be correctional. There's a lot of dentistry that's correctional. You know, oh, I broke my arm, I have to fix it. But what if you learn how to stretch, right? Stretching is preventative. It makes sure that you don't, you know, pull your hand string or that kind of stuff so if you learn how to stretch and become flexible and I'm not talking about just physically but mentally maybe mm. you need to learn how to become more flexible mentally maybe you need to be able to accept uh, perspectives that are not your own and mm. going through that process when you're not going through something serious is a lot easier than when you have like heartbreak or a lot of these things that are going on today you know so how do people wrap their mind around how they handle their finances with mental health, or okay. should we even call it mental health? No, no, that's exactly what it is. It's mental health. Okay. You know, I, I can, if someone were, you know, take my hand off, I could survive, but if I lose my mind, then it's like, it doesn't matter if I have money, it doesn't have, matter if I have health even, if I can't mm. experience my own mental wellness. As far as financially, um, it can get expensive the same way how doctors can get expensive. Honestly, it's a lot easier to deal with those expenses when things aren't so bad. Gotcha. So finding a way to budget it while things are going well, um, will definitely be easier than finding a way to budget it when the world is caving in, if that makes sense. It's right? kind of like going back to the dentistry idea, like, yeah. you know, checking for your cavities ahead of time versus getting a root canal. Yes, exactly. Okay, so from what I'm getting is that we just have to learn how to prioritize our mental health and understand it's so important. Because like the way that I look at it is like most of our issues throughout the day is more mental baggage than it is anything else. You know, like we're stressed, we're lonely, all those things are mental issues. So well, I don't know if I should use the term issues, but they're mental situations that we have to deal with. So I think it's more about, right, to prioritize. Yeah, prioritizing our mental health and also being aware that we tend to only recognize it once it's broken. That was fantastic. That was a Wednesday word with Fernando Campos. Oh, use the accent. Fer Fernando. Fernando. So Fernando. use the. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good friend of mine. Make sure that you check out his work. He's fantastic. I'll put all his social media stuff in the links below. Ooh, that was awesome. So good. I hope you guys liked it. If you liked it, hit that like button. I don't know. Touch the subscribe button. Take that link. Toss it up. Send it to a friend. Because I know you got a lot to do. So do what you got to do. And whatever you do, make sure you handle that. Thank you.